filmed a makeup tutorial inspired by the new Cinderella movie. I'm so excited to see the movie and I felt so inspired by her look that I kept seeing in the trailer. So I decided to recreate it myself and I think that it looks really really nice. It's a very natural kind of glowy rosy cheeks, rosy lips kind of look and I was really excited to recreate it and I kind of pinned my hair back a little bit. How Cinderella looks. has always been my favorite princess because she's the princess that I've always looked the most like like when I was little because I always had blonde hair, dark eyebrows so I always felt like Cinderella was like me but a princess in a cartoon movie but now that it's brought to life it's so much more exciting so yeah um, I'll show you the picture that I was inspired by um, this is the picture that I came across online and I thought that it was perfect and it's natural and she just looks so natural and I think I did the look pretty good. I mean, I think we look pretty similar. What do you think? Um, but yeah, if you guys want to see how I did this makeup, then just so I just wanted to mention that I watched my footage back and realized that I was wearing two different earrings the whole video. One of them was this lacy flower earring which I got that pair from Old Navy a few years ago and then I was wearing another pearl earring that was just plain I just put the other one in but just so you guys know I was aware that I was wearing two different earrings the whole video but yeah let's get into the tutorial okay so the first thing you of course want to start off with is moisturizing and priming your face I don't use a primer but I do moisturize my face so I've already done that when I got out of the shower earlier. So the first thing that I'm going to do is apply some foundation. And I'm going to be using, I'm very pale, but I'm going to be using the lightest foundation little concoction that I have because Cinderella is very fair skinned. Um, I'm going to be using the Hard Candy Glamouflage Heavy Duty Concealer and mixing it with the Wet n Wild Ultimate Match Liquid Foundation in Ivory. So I'm going to go ahead and mix those together and then I'm going to apply it to my face using this Sephora Beauty Sponge. Okay, so before I apply my foundation, I just wanted to mention that this is the picture that I was inspired by. Hopefully you can see that, but um, she just looks very natural and I really love her blonde um, hair and the bold dark brows, which is usually what I have going on. So I really like that she looks super natural and just a very light pink lip. So we're going to go ahead and apply this foundation and I'm just using this beauty sponge and I'm just going to apply it all over my face and a little bit down my neck. And as usual, I'm using the Coastal Sense Camouflage Palette, and I'm going to be using the lightest shade, which is right here, and I'm just going to conceal and highlight with this, and I'll show so you So I'm actually just going to go ahead and go in with my finger, because that's just the easiest way to warm up the product. So I'm going to get some of that on my ring finger and go underneath of my eyes. And I'm going to go actually all around my eyes, on my eyelids because we really want to try to cover up any area that has discoloration. Okay, and then I'm going to go down my nose just for a little bit of a highlight and a little bit more coverage. A little bit around the corners, just a tiny bit so it doesn't get too dry. And on any little imperfections that I have, just so we can work on getting that flawless sort of porcelain-like finish. So I'm going to go in and blend that concealer out. concealer with some sort of powder. I'm going to use the translucent mattifying powder by e.l.f. because this is pretty much colorless and it gives my face that really nice matte finish that I'm going for. Foundation 
you can go in and do a little bit of contouring. We're not really going to bronze because we're going for a more pale look. Um, but if you would like to bronze, it's up to you. But I'm just going to go ahead and do a little bit of contouring using this Milani Bronzer in Light. And this is a matte bronzer because she really doesn't have any type of shimmer on her face from what I could see, except for maybe a little bit of a highlight. So we're just going to lightly contour using this bronzer. And this is a Real Techniques brush that I'm using, which is amazing. You can tell that she just has very light rosy cheeks um, on the apples of her cheeks. So I'm going to be using a nice and light rosy blush, which I'm going to be using the Coastal Scents 10 Blush Palette. And I believe I'm going to be using this color right here. It does have shimmer in it, but the shimmer doesn't show up on your face. So I'm just going to go ahead and put this on the apples of my doing is the eyebrows and the eyebrows are super super important for this look um, you can tell that she has very bold brows and it really makes the look for her so luckily we have very similar hair colors and very similar eyebrow colors so this will work out great if you don't have you know similar eyebrows um, then just fill them in however you normally would um, you don't even have to fill them in at all but just for the sake of this look I'm going to fill them in. I'm pretty much going to fill them in how I normally do because my eyebrows are very similar to hers, like I said, so I'm just going to fill them in how I normally would. And I'm going to be using the Coastal Scents Warm Palette, which I always use for my eyebrows. And I'm going to start at the arch with, I'm using a um, angled eyeliner brush to do this. I'm starting at the arch of my eyebrow and working outwards because this is where you want your eyebrows to be the darkest. I explain this in my everyday makeup routine. Um, but yeah, then I'm just gonna start working inwards and I'm just doing this very lightly because you know you don't wanna have sharpie brows. And then right here, I'm switching the direction of my brush to make the front of my eyebrow look a little bit more natural. I'm basically just filling in some sparse areas and um, making them a little bit darker. It's just the way that I prefer them. You can really do your eyebrows however. When you're done filling in your eyebrows, you're going to want to go ahead and brush them out again with the spoolie just to make them look as natural as possible and to lighten up any harsh lines or harsh color. Okay, so in the picture of her, you can clearly tell that she is not wearing any eyeshadow. She may be wearing a light, very, very light crease color. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go into my Coastal Scents palette and I'm just going to pick up this matte white color and just lightly dust this all over my eyelids. I'm not even going to use a primer because I don't want the look to be harsh. I just want it to be very subtle. So I'm just using this color to lighten up the area of my eyelids a little bit. And then I'm going to be taking a blending brush. 
Um, and then just taking the color that I did my eyebrows with and I'm going to be putting that very, very lightly in my crease. And this will just create, you know, a little bit of a deeper crease and make the eyes look bigger. And every princess that I've ever seen in the real life movies um, always have a really nice big eye look. So I'm just going to lightly contour the eyelids. And by using the same shade that I did my eyebrows with, it'll give me a very natural look and the crease color won't stand out too much because it blends right with the eyebrow. So I just realized that I forgot to apply a highlighter, so I'm going to be using the NYX Liquid Illuminator and I'm going to be doing this very lightly. Um, she doesn't seem to have any heavy highlighting or anything, I just think that it'll be a really nice um, effect on the face. So I'm just going to be applying this right here on the top of my cheekbones and this just leaves such a beautiful effect and you really want to make sure you blend this out well so it looks more of like a reflect than you just um, covered your face in highlighter And I think that this natural glow is so pretty and it makes your face look very natural. Okay, and so dirty. now I'm going to go ahead and curl my eyelashes using the Tarte Lash Curler. You can use any lash curler. They pretty much all work the same, but this Tarte one just lasts forever and never breaks on me, which a lot do. So I really like this one. So I'm just curling my lashes. My pinky always does this when I curl my lashes. But I'm just curling them because it will make my lashes look bigger and Cinderella has beautiful natural looking eyelashes. So I'm going to use this new mascara that I got. It's the Wet n Wild Mega Plump and Wet n Wild mascara is awesome because it always looks very natural. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply this to my top. And with this Sephora eyeshadow that I've had forever and I'm just going to do a little bit of highlighting on my inner like tear duct area. Um, just to give my eyes a more open effect. Nothing too harsh, very light. So a very light inner tear duct highlighting. And then for that natural little rosy lip that she has, I'm going to be using the Sugar Rose Tinted Lip Treatment, and I don't think this is in like a specific color, it's just this um, kind of light pink tinted packaging, and the color looks like that. And I'm just going to apply, apply this to my lips. Um, it's about as natural as lip color is going to get, so... I think that's perfect. Okay, so that is the finished look. I hope that um, this tutorial inspires you. And if you try it out, then comment down below and um, you could like tweet me a picture um, or tag me on Instagram and I will definitely check it out. Or if you redo this tutorial, then I will watch your video. Um, just comment down below and let me know. And yeah, I hope you guys really enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun doing this look and um, if you love Cinderella, then thumbs this video up because I love her. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you all later.